So I've been getting this question asked a lot. How would you deploy? I have 500K to invest. Jimmy, how would you deploy it? There's tons of options. It's a bunch of mixing and matching, but here is what I would do. Here's how I would deploy. Now, if some of you guys aren't quite as big ballers as have half a million, I know we got plenty of people in the program with 200 to 500,000, but don't get wrapped in this. Don't get wrapped in the specifics of the numbers. Get wrapped into the concept of how you would make this work. So here's how I would deploy half a million dollars if I was going to start and join this program. So I'm going to do a quick review of the deal types that we do in this program. First is flip keys. You've heard of turnkey investments. What is a flip key? It's a flip that you do in a semi-passive manner. So it gives you guys the abilities to flip houses from remote locations. Essentially, we sell you the house, we manage the construction for you, and we connect you with the realtor who will sell it on the back end. So it allows you, like I said, allows you to passively invest in flips. It's not a wealth builder, it's a cash flow play. But you can expect between 20 and 30K profit in these types of deals. Next are Berkey deals. Now these are wealth builders. This is how you get into it. The whole internet is searching for burrs. And how do I do a burr deal? We simplified it. We're just going to do it for you in a burr. So you'll get a burr deal and it'll be a passive investment for you. So what are the numbers and cents of it? Generally, you're going to get all into a house at 85% of its market value. You're going to pay for it in cash. You're going to be all in at 85%. The bank is going to refi out 75% of that money. So you're going to get into a $200,000 asset with a $20,000 down payment. And it allows you to keep your cash base while still acquiring assets. And then the third type of deal we do is a turnkey. The advantage of a turnkey is the property is already done. You don't have to buy it with cash and you get the best interest rates. The downside of a turnkey is that you have to leave more cash into the project. So I'm running these numbers, assuming all these deals are $200,000 houses. So here is my plan. If you came to Vreeland, education and had half a million dollars to deploy you're going to love the results but here's what i would do i would do two flips a year i would do one bird key a year and i would do one turnkey so that would be a flip what this quarter a flip second quarter a bird key the third quarter and a turnkey anywhere in that part of the year most people when they get involved they like this they want to go fast they go much faster than this this would be like the slow plan so here's what I would do. I would continue to recycle the 150K. You might be saying, Jimmy, what does that mean? It means if you're flipping $200,000 houses, generally you need to be all in at 150. So when you flip a house, you put 150 in, you sell it for 180, you make your 20 to 30K, you get your 150 back. So the two flip keys, you get your 150 back. The bird key, you're going to get most of that 150 back. And then the turnkey, you're going to leave 50 grand in each deal. And so I'm going to show you what those numbers look like. So here's what year one looks like. Year one, you make 50K profit from the flips. With your bird key, you would get 26K in equity. Because remember, you're buying it at 85%. So a $200,000 house, you still ha you have forced equity of $26,000. The house would appreciate 10K. Your cash flow would be 3,600. Your cash left in the deal would be 18K. Now your turnkey deal... You deploy 50K that first year, you'd get 2K in equity. Sorry, you get 3K in equity pay down from the tenant. It would appreciate 10K and your cash flow would be $3,600 for that year. So your cumulative return, $57,000. That's an 11% cash on cash return. Your balance sheet, is that right? Let's check the numbers, Jeremy. So year one, you're going to make 50K from your flips. You're going to do a Berkey, a $200,000 house. You're going to be all in it at 85%. So what is that? That's 170K. You're going to leave 20K in that deal, but you're going to be walking away with 30K in equity. And then the tenant's going to pay the equity down another 2K. So your appreciation on this deal is going to be 10 grand and your cash flow is going to be 3,600. Now that turnkey you buy, you're going to deploy $50,000. That's going to go out of your pocket. Your equity is going to, you're going to make six grand on that house that year or sorry, your tenant's going to pay that house down two grand that year. And Jeremy, so anytime the numbers I'm saying are, are different than the slide, we need to change the slide. Uh, your appreciation that year is going to be, is going to be $10,000 and your cash total cash flow is going to be 3,600. So your year one cumulative return is 57K. Cause remember you made 3,600 
per house on cash flow plus 50 grand in flips. So 56K return, that's 11% cash on cash return. The balance sheet return, that's the force equity you get from the Berkey and the appreciation you're getting on your two rentals. Did that get to 110? Okay. So your balance sheet return is the 57K plus the equity that you gained in the houses. You got 30K in a force equity from the Berkey and then it appreciated 10,000 and then your turnkey appreciated 10,000. So that's a six figure return year one. So you got two assets at that point. That's a 22% return year two. Now, remember you deployed 50K into the turnkey and you still got 50K cash, 20K cash into the Berkey, but you made 50 grand from flipping and cash flow. So at this point, you start with 500K. Now you have 487K left to deploy. So once again, you do two more flips, make another 50K. You do another Berkey, you leave 20K into that deal. But now you have two Berkeys where you force 30K worth of equity plus the tenants paid it down. So now you're at 60K worth of equity. You've got year one. Now you got two houses, but that first house is now appreciated 20K. This is a 5% return. I got other videos that say, hey, it's 5% return year over year, realistic. It is. I'll connect you with that video. But so your house one's appreciated 20K now. House two has appreciated 10K. Now you got two houses cash flowing. So you got seven grand in cash flowing that year. And then you buy another turnkey, deploy another 50K. Tenant pays that down, another 4K. You have same thing. Appreciation is still 30K because your first house appreciates 10K. These are all $200,000 houses, remember. And then your cash flow is another 7,200. Jeremy, so continue to recycle the 150K. What does that mean? So that means we're doing 100, $200,000 houses. All these deals are $200,000 houses. So you'll be into your flips for about, so your flip, so your all your burrs are 200,000. So here's how we do this. Your two flips for this model, and it doesn't work like this in real life. I'm just trying to show concepts. We'll do $180,000 houses that we're flipping and making 25 grand on. So you're going to need to be in around 150K and then your Berkey is a $200,000 house and your turnkey is a $200,000 house. So plug that in before I go into these numbers. Oh, so then year two, your cumulative return is your cash return with cash flow plus your profit from your flips, 70 grand. That's a 14% return. For your balance sheet return is your cash return plus all the force equity plus all the appreciation. You're getting to $300,000. That's shit. So year two, your cash return, 64K with your two flips plus your cash flow. That's a 13% cash on cash return. Your balance sheet return is that cash return plus your forced equity and the appreciation. So now you're up to a 40% on that first half million dollar investment. And you got four assets. So you got four assets now. You still have 480K and your balance sheet's growing. So rinse and repeat. That's how we do this. Year three, two more flips, another 50K. A Berkey, you leave 20 grand in that deal. You're now up to 96K in forced equity. Your appreciation's growing because that remember, house one has now had three years to appreciate. House two has had two years. So now 60K in appreciation for your portfolio and your cash flow is up to 10 grand. Now with your turnkey, you deploy another 50K in cash. You get your equity pay down. The tenants are paying down the equity now to $12,000. Your appreciation is up to 60K and you get 10 grand in cash flow that year. So year three cumulative return with this strategy starts to look very interesting. You have a cash return of 70K that year. That's a 15% cash on cash return. Your balance sheet returns almost to 300K. You're up 60% on that initial half million dollar asset and you have six assets. So it started year four, you got six assets and you still have 483K in cash. So you can read these slides. We repeat the process for year four. Your cumulative return at year four is 78K. Your cash on cash returns 16%. Your balance sheet returns 424. And you have at the end of year four now eight assets. So here's at the end of the five-year plan, you still have 492K. You're gonna have 10 assets at this point. I'm not gonna repeat these numbers because I'm trying to get this video done as fast as possible. But here's what you would have at the end of five years. That fifth year, you'd get 80 grand from your flips and your cash flow. That's a 17% cash on cash return for that year. Your balance sheet return is going to be 572. That's at 86K plus all the forced equity from the burrs, plus all the appreciation because you now have a 10 house portfolio asset. And your balance sheet return has returned you 100% of your investment. So 
That's why we love doing this at Freeland Capital. That's why people love the program. But that's how I would deploy half a million dollars.